Hello people, breaking news, apparently, oh by the way, it's the 29th of June 2019 and we're here in Essex, UK, but uh, apparently um, heat wave today, it's about 28 degrees C currently here in the UK, uh, at least here in the South East it is anyway, um, that's about um, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, so not, you know, particularly warm really by heat wave standards, certainly not to... Uh, you know, not compared to other parts of the world, like France today. Part of France is apparently at 45 degrees C, which is about um, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Fahrenheit. So rather warm there indeed. I mean, we did have that sort of a, certainly by um, UK standards anyway, we did have a rather warm, long summer last year, which could be described as a heat wave. But uh, that's indeed intriguing. Um, and this is one of the reasons... Not the only reason, but um, you know, I'm, I'm growing a lot of exotics in here, you know, for warmer climates. Um, a, I like growing them, and B, maybe we need to start thinking about growing different things, and maybe doors are opening to us to grow different things, like um, you know, autumn royal grapes, for instance. You know, varieties they're not ready yet, obviously. See the small little grapes there. You know, grapes from um, the variety from California. You know, and things like blood oranges. There we go, and we've got a little orange. Look, look at that. Look. Look at that orange there, look, that looks like that's got through the small stage. So you never know, we may be getting an orange. And of course, um, you know, peaches, things like that. You see all those on there? Look gorgeous, don't they? Nice red blush on there now. So that brings me to my next subject, peaches. Um, I put a, um, I spoke on a previous video about what I'm going to be getting next for the channel. Um, or hopefully thinking about getting for the channel. And... Um, well, not just for the channel, but for the project. And I, I start thinking about... Uh, hmm. Yeah, um, so I'm thinking about getting a white flesh nectarine. Now, I spoke about getting another peach, and I think it was Brett from um, Lionheart Channel. I think that's what the channel is called. Nice channel, actually. He's got some quite exciting stuff on there. Lionheart, Brett. Check him out. You can see him sometimes commenting on my videos. So uh, give him a click and see what he's up to. Intriguing stuff. Um, where were we? He mentioned about why don't you get a white flesh nectarine. And I thought, yeah, yeah, why don't I? So there we go. That's probably what's going to be happening next. But uh, again, they can suffer from peach leaf curl. So um, I would rather see the tree really before I buy it, you know, to check it hasn't got leaf curl. But um, I didn't know, I didn't see this tree before I bought it, this Peach Dixie Red. Um, I've got videos on the channel of when I first purchased this tree, when I even unboxed it, and it's been a success. I mean, it's a bit of a punt, really, when you buy, like, a peach tree or nectarine, whatever, because you don't know, especially if you buy it when it's dormant, you don't know if it's infected with the leaf curl until the um, um, leaves come out, you know, and they get the leaf curl blotches on them. But I was lucky... In regards of this tree so I'm very grateful for that and since I purchased it it's been a brilliant tree um, and even cr it cropped very well the first year or year after the first when I had it growing in a pot so yeah very good but yeah so hope everybody out there you know is being responsible in the heat wave um, that sort of thing looking after themselves remaining hydrated not getting sunburn for instance so there we go it's probably about five to ten degrees C warmer in this polytunnel than outside. I don't have a um, thermometer, so I can't actually tell you um, how warm it is in here. So if it's 28 degrees outside, it's probably about 35, 36 in here, I would imagine. But um, you know, the summer that we've, we're currently having this year, although indeed the summer is still quite young. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, um, the summer's still quite young. I certainly, it's been more product, more sort of conducive to gardening, I think, this year than last year, because I think we were in the middle of that heat wave, and we didn't get much rain for about two or three months around here. And we have had, you know, we had a thunderstorm here the other night. We're getting some rain, things like that. You know, it's good for, for the garden, filling up the water butts, not having to tap into the old mains and hose pipes and things like that so much. So in that regard, it's, you know, it, it's been... For me, quite quite a good summer, really, so far. The old yuzu rocking and rolling down here. Um, did have a bit of blossom on it. Might be getting a little yuzu. There, look, see it? Of course, the uh, tree's still young. Allegedly hardy down to minus 10. We'll see. But, um, yeah. One thing that... Um, I did with this autumn royal grapevine is I set it 
in the ground in the actual polytunnel. Whereas most people, when they um, grow a grapevine in a polytunnel or in a greenhouse, yeah. yeah, when they grow a grapevine in a polytunnel or a greenhouse, they normally um, have the root outside, and they do that to keep the you know, the base, if you will, the roots and the root stock warm, and um, you know keep it warm, keep it cool, and um, also for watering as well. Obviously, it gets more of the rainwater when it's outside, but I've had it in here in the ground, no problem. I didn't want to start making holes in the polytunnel, and even during that heat wave last June, it was a young vine then, I only put it in the season before, and um, it you know, hadn't really established, and I only watered it a few times, and it did really well, so that is an option, peeps. So there we go, so that's the heat wave video. If you like my work, Please feel free. Oh no, shake us. Um, snake beans. Right, now, they're not um, producing yet, but they hopefully will. These are a good warm climate sort of uh, fruit, really, uh, vegetable rather. You know, they grow in Southeast Asia, um, India, places like that, you know. Good cucumber there, looks starting to come, bit of blossom there. Tomatoes, they appreciate the uh, warmer um, climates, so that's good. And if you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.